You know the feeling when your trading strategy gives you signals to buy or sell, and you follow the rules and take those trades, but then the market keeps stopping you out over and over again. If this sounds familiar, there's a good chance that your strategy is missing a really good volume indicator that could have saved you from most of those losses. Volume is important because it shows how active the market is, making it easier for buyers and sellers to trade. When there's less activity, the trade volume is low. Even though trading platforms offer many volume indicators, around 92% of them are not very good at telling you when the market has high or low volume. So in this video, I'll share my top three volume indicators that can help you avoid false signals from almost any strategy. Let's get started. All right, coming in third place is an indicator called the Relative Volatility Index. Before we dive into it, let's take a look at another indicator called the Profit Maximizer PMEX. The PMEX indicator is pretty straightforward. When the red line crosses the blue line going up, it's a signal to sell, and when the red line crosses the blue line going down, it's a signal to buy. It gives us quite a few good signals. But sometimes it also gives us false signals. So if we blindly follow every signal, we'll probably end up breaking even most of the time. To help us tackle those false signals, we'll add the Relative Volatility Index Indicator to our chart. This indicator, developed by Avergate, looks at the trading volume on a chart to figure out if the market is more bullish or bearish. It splits the volume into bullish and bearish parts. We can adjust the settings to reduce false signals and highlight important flat areas. It also helps us identify overbought and oversold zones, which is helpful for trading cryptocurrencies. When there's high volume in those zones, it's a good time to consider trading. However, we don't need those rules for every trade, so we can turn them off in the settings. To make it easier to see the market's volatility, we can change the display to columns. Feel free to play around with the settings to find what works best for you. This indicator works with any trading instrument and on any time frame. It acts as a sidekick, showing us if the market is controlled by bulls or bears. When the bulls are in charge, we see a green histogram. And when the bears take over, a red column shows up. The pitch column helps us avoid taking signals and there isn't enough volume in the market. Now, let's understand when the PMEX indicators buy or sell signals are confirmed by the volume indicator. If we get a sell signal from the PMEX and we see a red volume call, then the sell signal is confirmed. And if we get a buy signal from the PMEX and we see a green volume call, then the buy signal is confirmed. If the column is pitch colored at the time the PMEX gives a signal, then we can ignore it because the signal is not valid. Now, let's see how well this indicator eliminated false signals. It successfully eliminated 100% of three false signals, which is really impressive. I honestly didn't expect such great results, but it's important to keep in mind that this indicator may also filter out some good signals. That's just the nature of volume indicators, and we can't do much about it. So my fellow traders, I highly recommend giving this indicator a try. It has the potential to generate significant profits in the long run. All right, let's now talk about the second indicator on our list, called the Squeeze Index by Lux Alga. But before we get into that, Let's first include another indicator called Alpha Trend by Kevin Kosbiljic. Imagine this is the first indicator you use to confirm your trades, whether buying or selling. Now, let's see how many of these trades would have ended up losing money.
as we can see, quite a few of them would have resulted in losses. To improve the accuracy of these signals, let's add our second volume indicator to the chart. By the way, this indicator was released last year, so not many people are familiar with it yet. The squeeze index measures how much the price movement is squeezed together, and is shown as a percentage. Higher values mean that prices are tightly packed, indicating a higher chance of stability. We want to avoid trading during these stable periods. Notice that when the indicator's line goes above the 80 compression level, it usually means the market is moving sideways. In the settings, you can adjust the sensitivity of the indicator by changing the conversion factor and length. Based on the signals this indicator gives us, we should only consider buying or selling when the line is below the 80 level. Now, let's see how many of those false signals this indicator was able to eliminate. Overall, I have to say the squeeze index has performed really well. We're left with only two false signals, which is impressive. And most importantly, the indicator doesn't filter out many profitable trades. So I highly recommend giving this indicator a try. Experiment with it across different markets and timeframes to see how it works for you. All right, let's focus on our last indicator. The volume spread for VSA by Haruper Sathkapal. VSA stands for Volatility Spread Analysis. This indicator is all about volatility, specifically helping traders avoid sideways markets by showing levels of bullish and bearish volatility. Now, let's look at why this indicator is beneficial. One great advantage is that it reveals what big players or whales are doing in the market. It also gives real-time data, so you can see what's happening right now. Another advantage is that it helps you gauge the strength of a trend and whether it's losing steam. The indicator uses colors to represent volume levels. Green means low volume, yellow means medium volume, and red means high volume. When you see a green bar, it suggests the price is moving sideways. A yellow bar means volatility is increasing, and a red bar indicates a big surge in prices due to high volume. Keep an eye on the blue bars which mark market dead zones. You can use this volume indicator with almost any trading strategy. Let's consider combining it with the STD filtered non-pole Gaussian indicator by Lux. Now, let's see how many false signals this volume indicator helped us avoid. As you can see, there are quite a few false signals that we managed to sidestep. This is truly impressive. The indicator saved us a lot of money because, as you probably know, winning and trading often means avoiding losses. Okay, traders, I hope you enjoyed these amazing indicators I shared with you today. By the way, if you're looking for a good indicator strategy, check out the link to the strategy spreadsheet in the description below, where we rank our strategies, as it would definitely make you a debtor trader. If you could spend one second of your time and like this video, I would appreciate that a lot. Thanks for watching and see you on to the next one.